The vertex connectivity of a graph G, denoted as kappa of G, is the minimum number of vertices that would need to be removed in order to disconnect G or make it trivial. Recall a trivial graph is just one that has one vertex with no edges. So I have four examples of graphs right here. Let's take a look at each one and determine the vertex connectivity of each graph. So let's consider graph number one right here. Right now, this is a connected graph. So what that means is that we can get from any vertex in the graph to any other vertex just by traveling along a sequence of edges. So how many vertices would we need to remove from this graph to make it disconnected? Well, if we look at this vertex right here in the middle of the graph, if we remove this vertex, then each of these edges that are incident to it would also be removed. So here's what that would look like. So if we remove that middle vertex right there, then all of a sudden we create a disconnected graph because there's no way to go from these vertices to these vertices by traveling along a sequence of edges. So all we had to do to make this a disconnected graph was remove one vertex. So we would say that the vertex connectivity, denoted as kappa of G for this graph, is just one. We only have to remove one vertex to make this a disconnected graph. All right, now let's take a look at example number two right here. Here we have another graph. There are five total vertices, and we can see that this is a cycle graph. So that's a type of graph where the vertices are connected in a closed loop. So how many vertices would we need to remove to disconnect this graph or make it trivial? Well, let's just pick one vertex. So let's say we remove this vertex right here. If we remove this vertex, here's what the graph would look like. So if we remove that vertex, this would still be a connected graph because for the remaining vertices, we can still get from any vertex to any other vertex just by traveling along the edges. But now let's imagine that we remove this vertex. Now, all of a sudden, this becomes a disconnected graph because there's no way to get from this vertex to these other two vertices by traveling along edges. So for this example, we had to remove two vertices to make this a disconnected graph. So for this one, we'll say that the kappa of G, or the vertex connectivity, was two. We had to remove two vertices to disconnect the graph. And it turns out that for any cycle graph like this one, the vertex connectivity of any cycle graph will always be two. And just as the simplest example of a cycle graph, consider if we had a cycle graph with three vertices like this one. We can see that if we did remove these two vertices, we would be left with a trivial graph. So the vertex connectivity of this graph would also be two. We had to remove two vertices to make it a trivial graph, which is just a graph with one vertex and no edges. All right, let's check out example number three now. Here we have a graph with three vertices, but no edges connecting them. So this graph is already disconnected. So the vertex connectivity, or the kappa of G of this graph, is zero. And this will be true of all disconnected graphs. So if you have a disconnected graph, the number of vertices that you need to remove to make it disconnected is zero, because it's already disconnected. So keep that in mind. All right, now let's check out our last example, graph number four right here. Here we have what's called a complete graph. So this is a type of graph where every vertex is directly connected to every other vertex by an edge. Now, when we have a complete graph like this, the way that we write a complete graph is k sub n, where n is the number of vertices. So for this particular graph, for example, this would be denoted as k sub 4, a connected graph with four vertices. Now, when we have a connected graph like this, it turns out that the edge connectivity of a connected graph with n vertices is always equal to n minus 1. So the total number of vertices, minus 1. So for this particular graph, we can see it has four vertices. So the kappa, or the vertex connectivity of this graph, is going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3. So it means we need to remove three vertices to make this a disconnected graph or to make it a trivial graph. So let's go ahead and verify that. Let's say that we try to remove this vertex from the graph. Here's what it would look like. So we can see that if we remove that vertex, we still have a connected graph. So we can still get from any vertex to any other vertex just by traveling along edges. Now let's say we delete this vertex now. So when we delete that vertex, we're left with this, which is still a connected graph. So these two vertices are still connected. So the last step would just be to remove one of these vertices. So let's say we remove this vertex. If we did that, we would just be left with this one vertex right here. So it would be a trivial graph, one vertex with no edges. So we did have to remove three vertices from that graph. So the vertex connectivity of that graph was three. We had to remove three vertices to either disconnect the graph or make it trivial. So those were just a few quick examples of how to find the vertex connectivity of a graph.